The PDP has studied the APC's playbook from the Oshun election. Its attempt at voter suppression, including interference and intimidation of voters and journalists and civil society observers. Most alarmingly, the security services were deployed to discourage voter turnout in opposition strongholds. The PDP is concerned that the Oshun playbook could be deployed again by the government, especially in the states of Akwaibom, Bayelsa, Cross Rivers, Delta, Kaduna, Kanu, and River State. In response to Oshun and other incidents of electoral malpractice, and in ensuring a free and fair election in Nigeria, the PDP has adopted international best practices, including establishing a robust election results management system, and also relying on our wide array of intelligence collectors and patriotic public servants who are resolute in defending the constitution and integrity of our electoral process. We exhort all Nigerians, whoever they wish to support, to come out to the polls this Saturday and cast their votes with confidence that their votes will count. Thank you very much. And God bless you. For our institutions. And we want all national institutions to please perform their functions without fear or favor. Friday. To mitigate eventualities. What we are saying is that the present government has done nothing to deepen the quality of work that the PDP did with INEC that made it possible for them to be elected. So this government has not done anything to even the idea of signing the new electoral law to make the voting process um, as enunciated in what PDP introduced, the card readers. This government has refused to sign it. So we do not have confidence in the government's ability to deal with us with even hands on the election. But we are supremely confident that Nigerians have spoken in loud voice across Nigeria. We have gone through the 36 states of the Federation. We have met with ordinary Nigerians. We've met with taxi drivers. We've met with women in the market. And there is only one unanimous message from those Nigerians, that could go and win. And we are confident that if they defend their votes, we are confident that if they stand firm on that day, and the votes are counted on the polling units, and the results are entered into the form E60, and people report those results. Any manipulations that they want to do at the collation centers will come to null. I also want to say that despite our very much disappointment at INEC's inability to deepen what they inherited from the Jega Commission, one of the key things that we had expected is the verification of the voter register. The 84 million people in the voter register haven't gone through any deduplication. There's a deduplication process that you need to go to remove multiple registrations, people registering at various points. I must also point out that without that deduplication of voters' registration, that's why the PDP canvassed strongly that we should have separate accreditation and separate voting, which the Jega Commission introduced when they realized that they could not fully rely on the register, on the integrity of the register because of the absence of the deduplication.